Soya Kheema Mutter. Vegetarians, this one's specially for you. And the prepping is done. I have chopped the onions for the keema. Now I'll put some oil. Now in goes the grated ginger. Now the next thing that goes in is chopped garlic. Now you need to saute this till the garlic turns golden brown in color. Now the moment garlic turns golden brown, in goes the chopped onion. These are finely chopped onions. In keema, lots of onion is used. It gives it a nice sweet flavor. Now you need to saute this till the onion turns golden brown. Now here you can see the onion has turned beautiful golden brown. Now to this, I'll add chopped green chilies. Stir this. And now in goes all the powdered masala. First some cumin powder. Turmeric powder. Some red chilli powder. Some coriander powder. Now you need to saute this till the masala is perfectly done. Just see to it that the raw flavor of the masala is gone. Now here, instead of mutton mince, I'm using soya keema. I have soaked it in some uh, skimmed milk. This is soaking around 30 to 35 minutes. So now what I'll do is, after the masala is perfectly cooked, in goes the soya keema along with the skimmed milk. Now what skimmed milk will do is, it will avoid soya keema from turning dry. Now just give this a mix. Now it's perfect time to add some salt. Just give this a mix. Now at this stage, we'll add the garam masala powder, which is a very essential element for the keema. Just give this a mix. So as you can see, because of the steamed milk, it is still moist. Now as you can see, the soya keema is cooked and it is a bit dry, not very dry, it is still moist. At this stage, I'll add the green peas. As the name says, keema mutter. So here goes the mutter, fresh coriander, lots of fresh coriander which is chopped, some lemon juice. Green peas doesn't take much time to cook. That's the reason I have added at last. And that's it. Our keema is perfectly done. I'll switch off the flame. And the last thing and a very important step is serving the soya keema. Keema should be nice and moist. And this one is perfectly moist. It should not be dry. Otherwise, you will not enjoy with some breads. And for serving, I'll cut a lemon wedge. Some coriander garnish on top. So here it is, soya keema mutter. This is the best substitute for the mutton keema that you get. I'm serving it along with the multigrain bread. You can pair it with some parathas or any other bread and you're good to go. Do try this recipe.